Hey, and welcome back to another uh, iteration of the Biomutant uh, playthrough. Hope you all are having a good day. Uh, so we're starting to close in on another part of the main quest. Trying to meet up with uh, Noko. See if we can get there. I think we have to go through here. It's back here. Bro. This works. This might be the end of everything as we know it. So we're gonna try going around. And you can't go through, go around. This way. Yep. This region is known as the Canookstonies. You can't it's find a harder stuff. place in the world. Make sure both of those are equipped. Ah, the Gnote Pen. Noko never leaves this place. She's always put the living things first. Oh, we found Noko. Oh. So, by the way, um, there's no names left in the comments, so I decided to name this guy Gunther. I don't know why. I just randomly called him Gunther, and I'm kind of like calling him Gunther the Goat. But enough of my terrible choices. Uh, let's pee on this. Let's see. Let's go talk to Noka. Kuri kumbala muwa. Taifanama no Nooks isn't an easy language, but at least it's manageable. She says she is so happy to see you again. She wonders if you remember her. She's Noko. She let you ride her majut when you were a kid. Noko remembers you used to chase around with so much energy and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. But that's all long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been, not where we're going. Seems reluctant to even say its name. It's become personal to her too since it's taken so many of her innocent gnotes as prey. Noko remembers those days too, but she never lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Lupa Lupin. Can't see how there's any way to avoid that now. Not for long, at least. She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone, but not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Noko says history is like the trail you've been on. You can walk back down it any time you like until it's worn smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. She wants Lupa Lupin to pay too, even though she strongly believes forgiveness is the strongest revenge. 
Can you feel that? It's getting dusky in here. Hold up! There's no need to rush into things. Sounds like you're just flat out lazy to me. Lazy? Because I fight against the dark. Because you're against just getting things done. Asks how many paths you've wandered in the world, and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones. The choices can be overwhelming, but you have to choose, or you just stay where you are. And what kind of choice is that? Hates to think of what's going to happen to all the gnotes when the world dies. Nothing left to care for. Hates that you didn't care enough about the world to fight for it. Can't believe you joined up with the Jagni. They're constantly pecking around looking for things to swipe. If by loose you mean not nailed down, they keep trying to rustle her gnotes. But let's not speak of that now. She has an idea where the Majut might have gone, as there's no other place it likes as much as its own corner of the open wild. She's even named it the Majut Meadow. The Majut will recognize the scent you've attracted while being here, so it'll probably trust you enough to follow you. You should lead the Majut back here when you find it. It's going to take time to get it calm enough to be able to ride out to the World Eater. It's, it's the most magnificent creature she's ever encountered. A creature straight out of a dream or story. All right, so it looks like we're going to be doing a wrangling mission. But first things first, nobody is better than Gunther. You got that? Nobody. All right, let's go. Sorry she insulted you like that, Gunther. It's beyond late. So it looks like we have to go that direction. All right then. Hey, look, there's a bunch of Goothers. You're still the most special one. Don't... Don't look at this. You're still the best. Uh, there is one thing I wanted to look at before we... Go on. I only have 18 points and how many? Eighteen, but I need a dark aura of thirty. I really want this ability, guys. I it's just so cool. I need it. Oh, but we can unlock this now. This just seems like a good ability to have when there's just too many enemies to deal with and you have to kind of distract some, focus others, and then come back to these ones later. But yeah, glad we have that one now. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get back to the. Let's get back to the mission. You can't come with us this time, Gunther. I'll be back. I love you. 
Quick hug. All right, let's go. You found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut. So okay, so it doesn't. Okay, I thought it distracted. Looks like it more just like. It's just gonna do the hitting for us. Or it's just a multi attack. Look, he's cut. Sound seems to travel farther at night. Hello? Hey, buddy. Let's, uh, let's go. what I mean. Ain't nobody better than Gunther. You just stay here, chilling. Meanwhile, this thing is kind of creeping me out. Of course it wouldn't be that easy. Is this one helping me fight? Okay. We can do this. It might be a little bit better to do it. Uh, Gunther don't help me fight. You're in pain. So not good at blocking. I'm just a DPS. a new chance to fulfill your destiny. Gunther, you just kind of left, man, and I don't, I don't appreciate it. This guy. This guy? Look, Gunther, we might, we're not going to 
Just, just the top. That's a good find. Yep, still following us. Monibasa. Monibasa. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm, but Nokko is still concerned. She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least, that's where she found some last time. She figures the choosies from the old world are made from gummy trees, but wouldn't be surprised if they were actually made from some chemical concoction, though. Why are you afraid of... You're strange. Don't this won't be here. a field trip. It's the real thing. Look at those notices on the board. Too bad the gnotes couldn't read them. If you wander around here, you might find Nokko. She just loves those gnotes. Once the power ran out, it made sense to ride gnotes. And that tradition continued through the years. Nope. You still have to feed them, but food's easier to find than go juice. Watch your step here, and you might find tracks of another traveler. I really don't want to fight you. I'm just trying to go on a mission, buddy. Got some work to do. Everybody always trying to fight. Nobody ever wants to stop and just ask, how you doing? You look thirsty. And I get you a drink. First thing they do when they see me is, hey, catch these hands. Definitely not open. That's more than stuck. Okay, so you're locked. Ah, so the wood scrap. Always happy to find that. I collect that. So one key thing about this game is Check every single vehicle on the roof, because they are stocked. You've got health packs, new weapons. That's a pling-plong booth from the bygone. Back when you needed to cable words via buzz wire. Looks like the control box handles need to be wheeled to buzz the wire. and 
ready to go. Step back, world. Pants would be the bare minimum. Skinny pants. I don't wear those. And another bar pad. Damn. Wasn't terrible. I'd wear it. Health pack. Might as well jump in a lake. Another long spike. And an adrenaline shot. So it started raining. But we seriously have to figure out how to get up there. That way. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, none of those windows broken. Rimitess sweep. Do we jump? Not that simple. Oh, I see. I'm just dumb. I don't know why we had to pull back to open it forward, but you don't get much. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. You guys are here to see me be a loot goblin. But I am definitely 100% a loot goblin. And I definitely blame my friends for that, because when I play games with them, it's literally every man for himself in terms of loot. It's <laughs> the amount of arguments that we've gotten into about one of us stealing the other's loot is glorious. So easy. That's a moat. Cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate the dispenser. Find the cranks to operate the dispenser. No, nope, you'd mean. expect to see it. Wind the cranks to operate the dispenser.
What you see is what you get. Once it's out of the blind box, that is. You can see the horizon. You shouldn't be surprised if you stumble on more of these. It's an electro panel, a closed loop that pushes volty spark. Flick the switches in order to green light the current and activate the electrons in the panel. So I believe I remember this one correctly. If you click one of them, the ones next to it change. I think. Do this. Do that. Good. The loop is electrified enough to spark. Yeah, I was wondering if it would just be one of them. Wow, that was weird. I was wondering if it was going to be one of them that changes if I click the middle or both of the both of the side ones. Any more? Ask her to do in this area. That's a bummer. It's a spotter. I thought it was a gun barrel. Oh, that hurts. Everything is at stake. That hurts so much. I would take a gun barrel before a spotter. Elder pants. Sorry, I know I, I know I said I wasn't gonna be a Lou Goblin, but now I kind of just wanna finish this area. But I've already forgotten what I have left. Like it pops up for a second and then it's gone. But getting all this stuff now means I'll have more things to go through, more stuff to break down, and then I'll have the scrap and stuff that I need to like craft better weapons later on, make upgrades. All the fun stuff. Want to get your arms swole? Grab those guns flexors and get pumping that iron. And it's worse than the hat that we have on. Of course, of course. Uh, let's see. Got to yeah, time it not? right to make them work. Left, right, left, right. Pumping good, looking better. We all share the same destiny. 
destruction so, or survival. Mount Pip food, and then there's one more superb loot. I feel like they're over there. Yep, I feel like they're right there on top of the roof. Those aren't the stairs. These are the stairs. Not the thing. You're not the thing. You're not. You weren't it. All right, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. I'm probably going to. Not probably. What a I am going to cut here. Day. And then get... I will return back after I fight those people and get the rest of the stuff for this area. Yeah. So I'll see you back at NOCO. Alright. Alright, and we're back. Look at my new drip. Gunther, calm down. No, I look fire, but you need to relax. Anaro Lute. With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down, but you'll need a heavier sit tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old world Mecha Majut. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the Gnotes. That's not so far away. It's a seat you fasten on the back of a mount to safen up your ride. It can become quite bumpy and risky without. It's some of the some of the names that they have for stuff in this game. Who, who's ever job it was to come up with these. I applaud you. I feel, although I do feel like they probably just gave, they went to a, like a five-year-old and asked them, hey, what, what would you call this? And the five-year-old would just give them a name and they'd be like, yep, that's it. That's what we're going with. You write it down? I got it. Am I going the wrong way? Let's consult the map. I am going the wrong way. Ah! 
always hear when this I thing has a mind of its own. Up on, just up. Oh, there's some blasty fouts up ahead. So far in this game, finding materials isn't too difficult. You get a lot from uh, fighting named enemies, I guess. Like the enemies whose health bar takes up the entire. You finally oh. found the village of Bumlidoff. Um. But yeah, from named enemies that aren't. They drop some materials. And then the totems drop materials. And then scrapping gear. But e waste is a hard material to come by. Maybe there's like a, a part of the game where it's more abundant, but so far I've only found like a couple of totems for e-waste and it, they only give me like two pieces of e-waste. The Smilo Shopperia. Guess shopping here put a smile on your face. Reload. Flashbang out. What a blow. Took a good chunk of health off. The best stories are about heroes. This is such a story. The antenna needs to be pointed in the right direction. As the eye box broadcasts, it's hit or miss, but when it does hit, it's usually right in the fields. Sorry, we, we had to do that uh, little TV puzzle right away, because if you don't, at least for me, they get annoying so quickly. Gonna need a key of some kind. That. No, nope, just coffin trap bedwitchin. Coffin trap bedwitchin. But once once they're fixed, I'll, they're just stuck on repeat the entire time. So you're probably gonna hear that. Okay, the further we get away from it, the quieter it gets. You need to line up the switches so they match. Okay. I thought that was going to be a Good. lot harder. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Hope you haven't seen the sky for the last time. 
I thought we were about to uh, have to use all 10 moves and be very, very careful. With each rotation, I'm still waiting for that, uh, that to happen. It said that there was super loot somewhere. Oh my god. Yep. I hate it. Alright, let's hurry up and do this. Get out of here. I can torture myself. Now hold on. Sit tight. You need to loosen the bolts without rattling the mechanism. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit tight back to Noko. You can ride this. Can I keep this? Dude, tell me I get to keep this horse. Honestly, I'm just happy to get out of there and not have to hear the TV repeat itself like eight more times. Seems like your mound likes you well enough. I have to say that this, uh, this horse is a, a bit faster than Gunther. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Gunther is not that fast. Even with the... me for a second. Make sure I'm going the right direction. I am. Just gotta. But yeah, like I was saying, even with the 5% movement speed increase for mounts that you can unlock, um, Gunther's not as fast as this horse. I love him, but... Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon Gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the Majut is ready to ride. Andro? Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. She's called them glitter moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. She's noticed the front teeth seem to be a little loose, so you might be able to pull them out with the pull hook. Did I not ride you yet? Look at me, you're really starting to piss me off. All these missions. Can't I just take him with me now? Nothing's more important right now than this. 
I guess the narrator's on her side. That's fine. Check our map, see which way. It looks like he's dead in the middle. did not have this uh, horsepower. Literally. This place is called Bright Light. Meet her close boom. by. Be on this real quick. Let's see. Waypoint. What's this? Nope. Just the way I was looking at it. I don't know why I thought. Standing here, looking at that, I thought those two leaves at the top of the bush were like some kind of radar dish. I thought there was a radio in there making that noise. This guy has like a little radio over here, and that's where the sound is going. With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Claims to be a simple lamp maker, bringing light into the world as best he can. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. But will you use that power to warm the world or burn it? Begs you to center yourself in the light. It can show you the way out of the darkness. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your presence changes things like light changes darkness. Did you realize that when choosing where to shine? Mm -hmm. Figures that doesn't matter. You can't help but shine either way. Wishes you could see your way toward using your fire to light the way in the world, rather than burn it down. Stunned that you decided the world wasn't worth saving, what was it that burned you? Thinks it's funny you worked with the Jagni. They tried to rob him once, but he scorched away any that got too close. Thinks that's smart of them, and he's happy to use it against them. Says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. He can't blame you as everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you. Like you're knit together. Your fate's connected. What you've said, he feels too. So, why not call him me too? Kai he senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last, afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. Uh, let's go. With this. Claims you both walk in different types of darkness, but you guide yourself by the same light. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright, he likes things that glitter, too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth, and says it's about time you did. Even though they're nesting near gone grass, they never run out of glow. 
Take out the bar. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need to continue all the way to the end. You really do need them alive. Dead glitter moths fade. So that's it? You don't give me anything? I have to go collect them? You will have to be extra sneaky. <sighs> I'm fighting Nako. Noko? I've been I've been calling them like so many different names. Uh No, it's not gonna show them to me right now. I'm gonna fight them when I get back. That seems appropriate for sending me on all these chores. But I like this, dude. And I think it's just because he looks like some cross between a... shark... bear thing? The dinosaur tail? The fluffy... These feathers are fur. I don't know, but I like this guy. But on that note, we're going to end the video here. I guess in the next video, we're going to go collect some glare mobs. Fight the next world eater, possibly. Um... And probably take over another tribe. Sounds like a good plan to me. I gotta think of a name for this horse. Anyways, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, share the video with your friends. Maybe somebody's looking for a, a playthrough, and you can re recommend them mine. I'm gonna make myself sick doing this. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.